So you see since 1849. So in 1849, this place invented sourdough, I think. So I am here to try the sourdough bread. And here's what I got. Clam chowder in a bread bowl. So that was interesting. It's not really sourdough that I'm used to. I guess it's not as sour. I had the same thing two days ago in New York, New York at the uh, fish fry place. The bread is a lot more neutral, but the texture is different. It's like denser. The sourdough I'm used to, you could definitely taste a little more flavor to it, but it's like almost like hollow. This was a much better texture, although it didn't taste too different from like a typical like wheat or white bread. I had five clam chowder and bread bowls before. This was not the best. Uh, Quincy Market in Boston, probably the best. I've made it myself when the supermarket makes bread bowls. I've had it here. I have had it in uh, New York, New York, in Vegas. And I've had it in, uh, in college. They had it every once in a while in the dining hall. And if you think it's terrible to have it in a dining hall, we were rated a top five dining hall every year. So it was actual food we had. So I had those five. Boston was the best, although this was an interesting take on sourdough. So I'm going to walk around the wharf and we'll see uh, what else happens before the game starts. Everything up to the game, I guess, will be this video. Total change of plans. I was on the streetcar going back from the wharf to the train and I saw this food truck. I didn't know where it was. My plan yesterday wasn't to go to the wharf or the farmer's market or the food truck area, but I ended up going to the wharf. That was the main thing today. I knew the name of the food truck. I didn't know where it would be and I saw it. So I got off the streetcar, waited in line a half hour for these potatoes and this porchetta sandwich. The potatoes are cooked in the juices that run down the rotisserie chickens and the porchetta. I got some video of it. Here is the video of that and them making, assembling the sandwiches. And here's the sandwich. It's pork hedda, it's an onion jam, it's arugula, it's the crispy parts of the pork hedda sprinkled on top. Okay, that sandwich was amazing. I'll put the title to the YouTube video about how I learned about it at the bottom. Watch it if you're in the area ever. Go try it. The potatoes, I like a little softer than they had, but the flavor was incredible cooked that way, and the sandwich was just amazing. You remember at Aria when I said that seasonal pizza, the Brussels sprout thing, even if you like those flavors individually, I didn't think they mixed together. All those flavors on that sandwich mix well. That was incredible. That's it for the third video. I'm heading back to the train. It's right over there. And then I will uh, be at the game. And the game will be its own video. So everyone, you will see me tomorrow at the game.